voles. Everybody's got them. Whether you know it or not, you've got them unless you live in an apartment, quite frankly. And I want to make clear that voles are not the same as moles. So that's one of the first things that people get confused, M versus V. Um, moles eat earthworms and grubs and they make those tunnels in your lawn, but they're actually not your enemy. Voles use mole tunnels, however, to get around as well as making little bitty pathways through your grass. You can see it in the early spring. It's very clear where they've been. And voles are little tiny meadow mice, basically. And what they do is they eat the roots of plants and not just a plant or two. They seem to be voracious. They do a ton of damage over the winter and they eat over 300 variety, known varieties of garden plants. I mean, they'll eat just about anything, with the exception of maybe a hellebore. Um, they love hostas, for example, and I've, I've seen a hosta, they'll tunnel under it, chew the roots down, and then just pull the plant down into the ground. It goes zoop, right out of sight as they eat it. I've come up to big nandinas that were sort of leaning over sideways, went over, found it, all the roots were gone. It had been eaten from below. Terrible things. So what do you do to get rid of voles? Well, if you're lucky, you have rat snakes around, but a lot of people don't like snakes. They're the single best uh, predator, also hawks and owls, but you can plant in a way that deters them. One thing voles do not like because they dig, they like soft soil to dig in. They don't like to dig through rock and gravel. So the trick is, particularly when you're planting, is to use stuff they don't want to dig through. I'm going to show you in this pot that you wouldn't do this in a pot because they wouldn't most likely get into one, but this is representing as if you were planting in the ground and I want to show you what you do. This is called Enlighten and it's made by Earth Mix locally and what it is is expanded shale. Looks very natural but you can look at it closely and see it's, it's not super heavy because it's been expanded, heat expanded, and it's got a lot of sharp little edges. Won't hurt you, but not, not fun to dig through. And basically, we use this as a physical barrier when you're planting. I'm gonna show you in this pot how to do it. Below the plant, you don't want the, you don't want the animals coming up from below. Add a little dirt, pretend this is the soil you're planting with. As you plant, you're going to want to build a little moat of this stuff around the, around the side of the hole that you've dug to plant the plant in. You can see basically you're walling off the plant. You may ask the roots of the plant from the outside soil. You may ask, well, will the plant grow in this? The answer is quite yes. It only adds to drainage. It doesn't hurt the plant. The plant can, the roots can penetrate this stuff and get out into the native soil if so desired. Where the voles can get it, but they can't get at the crown of the plant and kill it. So you are protecting your plant. So you continue to build this up around the sides and, you're, and continue to fill. Obviously, this is a more labor intensive way to plant than just digging a hole and plopping a plant in. But if you want to keep your plants, this is the way to do it. Now, let's just pretend we've got that good hole going there. Here's a hosta I'm going to put in there just to show you how to continue. This, by the way, is hosta stained glass, which is, in my estimation, the single best hosta on the market right now. Um, fabulous plant. Okay, you're going to continue. And then more soil around. Push that up near the plant. Make room for more. There's a big plot of something in there. More of this stuff and just shoving it around. Some people plant their plants in wire cages, which you have to make out of like hardware cloth. That's a lot harder. It's possible. But this is a pretty easy way to do this. You can see we've got it planted, and I usually just put some, because they like to run along the surface, I just do it like that. That would be protected from voles. And one other thing is when you come back and you want to mulch the garden, don't put mulch right up to the base of the plant. Leave a ring like this around it that's open, soil. The reason being that 
Moles like cover. They'll go under the mulch and attack the, top, the, the base of the plant, but they don't like to go out into the open. So if you leave a little opening around, it deters them also from overland attack, if you will. So I hope that helps you guys. It's, it's a terrible thing to lose a beautiful hosta planting, and it can happen pretty quick because they're very uh, destructive. So this is a good tip, good stuff. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.